YouTube. This is Mrs. Baby Fat. I just wanted to come out here and record outside in this beautiful, beautiful yard of mine with a wonderful breeze going. It's nice and the weather is great and I feel awesome. I never did get back to you guys about the update on my hater video, <laughs> but I just want you guys to know that I'm good. It's all good now and that um, I'm over it. I still get hater comments, but you know what? Because of you guys and the comments you all gave me, I'm able to just brush it off my shoulder and keep on moving. Hit delete if I need to, but yeah, some crazies out here. Um, what else has been going on? Today is supposed to be Way In Wednesday. You guys, I'm taking a break. I've been doing Way In Wednesdays for the contest for the last couple of months. I think I may start it back up next week, if not definitely the first week in January. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll have my own skill by then. I won't have to go out in the cold and the rain to go and drive 15 minutes to the gym. But I am on plan. I did, I'm trying something different. It's prepackaged food, and I know some of you all were like, don't do that, but it seems to be working, it's easy, you know, I just go and grab something five times a day, and then I eat, like, um, something healthy for dinner, so if I lose weight with this, I will share it with you guys, and, uh, give you an honest review about that, let's see, da -da 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 -da. what else, what else, what else, oh my gosh, you guys are so kind to me, I've had at least five or six of you guys send me in boxes and tell me that I look like one of the Braxton's, I'm getting Tony Braxton, like, <laughs> I have gotten this before, and I was like, what are these people smoking? You know, before I started YouTube, people in my real life have said, you know, you kind of look like Toni Braxton. I'm like, she's gorgeous. So, I don't know. I think I'll put up a picture beside uh, her picture, one of my pictures beside her pictures. And, uh, you guys really, really just tell me the truth. Stop blowing my head up. <laughs> Tony Braxton. I yeah. love her. I've loved her from the very beginning. And uh, I always play her Christmas song, Celebrate, every time around this year. So, for you guys to say I look like her is really, really big compliments. Oh my gosh. Oh, what else? I don't know. I love you all. And uh, thank you guys for supporting me, for subscribing, and for just standing by my side through thick and thin, through the hater comments, through whatever. You guys are always there for me. And I don't want to disappoint you. So, I'm looking forward to big things this year. You know, in January to come, on my birthday, I'll be 36. It's just time to really, really, really do this. And, I mean, I'm doing it. I'm eating healthy. I'm not going to the gym as much as Christmas time. So, you know what that means. I don't know if you all remember, but I have not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven children to shop for for Christmas. So I'm pretty, pretty busy. Not to even mention my husband, my in-laws, my mom, my sisters, my brothers, my grandparents. So it's the holiday season. Tis the season. I'm great spirits. I'm just kind of lacking on the jump. I am going to try my best to go tomorrow. My little boy, my five-year-old twin boy is holding the camera for me. He wanted to be my cameraman today, so forgive him for all the shaking and the wobbling. But say hi, Jordan. Hi. And he's not feeling it well, so to do this for mommy, I just love you so much. But anyway, just keep it still a little bit longer. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make another video um, this weekend, probably just showing you all exactly what I'm eating for dinner. And I'm going to try to get out here because I love the outdoors and get to a park and maybe start walking some nature trails. Maybe even try to jog it out. So you guys going to look out for that, okay? Bye. You know, one lady, she wrote to me and she said, you know, um, as a child of God, that, not verbatim, but in so many words, that as a child of God, um, I shouldn't let things get under my skin. I should never allow anything that anyone says, let alone someone over the internet, to cause me to go and order Chinese food. And I mean, she, I forget her name. I always forget. I get so many wonderful comments. But, you know, she really does have a point. You know, they talked about Jesus. Who am I? <laughs> so, I mean, honestly, I got that out of my chest, um, off my chest, that video. And I'm sorry for those who um, I may have offended. You know, one lady asked me to change my title, and I did. You know, um, 
I never want to offend anybody. That's not my goal. I mean, honestly, I love everybody. I do. I'm just like one of those type of people just love strangers. You know, and how safe that is. But I'm just, I'm a very loving person. And it, I wear my heart on my sleeve. It's, you know, you guys know this. And so, it hurts me when someone say I may have offended them. And I don't ever want to do that. So, I apologize. Um, I'll contest. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I'm going to have her name flash across the screen. There we go. <laughs> and um, I want to congratulate you. Honestly, you, you made me proud. Um, this contest didn't go quite as I planned on it going. But for anyone to have lost as much weight as she did, 45 pounds in two months, is amazing. And to know that she lost that weight because she joined my contest is just is, is very humbling. <laughs> so, again, congratulations. And, um, you know, you'll be hearing from me soon. I want to encourage you all to please come and support me on my blog. Check me out and see what I'm writing about. And leave some comments. Subscribe to it. Uh, it's Diary of a Fat... www diaryofafatmom.com Now, I don't plan on staying fat for the rest of my life, so eventually I want to be a skinny mom, but <laughs> I'll always keep the name because, you know, I was a fat mom, and uh, even when I'm skinny, I'll still be struggling to not get back to be fat, so, I don't know. Just come and drop by and say hi to me. www.diaryofafatmom.com How easy is that? If not, or in addition to doing that, you can come and hit me up on Twitter at Mrs. Baby Fat. And um, I'm going to see if I'm trying to start a Facebook page again. And hopefully, you know, Facebook's strange tale will not, you know, link it to my private page like it did last time. So, we'll see. We'll see, and I'll keep you guys updated. Struggles, that's what I want to talk about. The struggles. I want to talk about struggles with you guys today. Some of the things I found myself struggling with. And um, you can relate, please leave me a comment and let me know. But um, I'm still finding it very hard to not run to food when I am sad or upset or angry. Now, my husband really gets under my skin at times. I love him to death. But I could just pull my hair out dealing with him sometimes. <laughs> he just does not get it, you know. Um, I am a pretty much stay-at-home mom. I work weekends. And um, I need you to be quiet while I'm on here. What do you need? Okay. I'll be deleting that. Anyway, my husband gets under my skin. He doesn't understand the role of a wife and a mom and a friend and a sister sometimes. And uh, I think men in general, just kind of some men, will not see us, especially to you know provide the money and pay the bills and um, the housework, the cooking, the cleaning, the rearing of the kids, the helping with the homework, things like that. They don't seem to put it on the same level as them going out and working an eight-hour, nine-hour job. And um, I really think that's a shame. <laughs> Honestly, I have told my husband many times, I would trade places. You stay here, you get these kids straight, and let me go and just shower and worry by myself, get in the car and leave out every day for eight hours, come back, to a hot meal and clothes already washed and dried and folded. The kids already being taken care of. Oh my gosh, that is the life. So don't get me started on that. But he doesn't really agree. And a lot of men I've talked to, brothers and stuff, really don't agree. So um, because of that, I am stressed out a lot. So how can I, how can you... 
come up with some coping mechanisms to deal with the stresses and the anxiety uh, levels in your life. Just last night at 3 a.m. exactly, the cops come knocking on my door, banging on my door and scare me half to death. I look out my window and I see them and I'm like, who is it? And I'm like, the police. And of course, me being the emotional wreck that I am, 20 hours and 24 hours of a day, my heart started just to racing. I felt like I was hyperventilating. I couldn't breathe. All I could think of, my, um, my older son does not live with me. That he had been in a car accident and that they were there with bad news. Why else would they knock on my door at 3 a.m.? Come to find out it was because somebody had um, parked their car in our yard and the car was still kind of warm and the person was missing and they wanted to know if they were in our house and we were like, nope. But anyway... Just, I could not go back to sleep. My heart was racing. I literally, even after I found out my son was okay, I still was having like sort of an anxiety attack. Now, I've gone through these things before. I refuse to go and see a doctor and take any kind of medicine because I see what the side effects of those are every day. You know, I pass them out. I deal with residents who are on anti-anxiety um, meds and it's just not what I want to do. So, uh, what I normally end up doing to cope with that kind of stuff is Get up, come downstairs, and make me a delicious, buttery grilled cheese sandwich with some chips and uh, soda to go with it. Maybe add on a snack cake or something like that. But the book I'm reading, I told you guys about my last couple of videos, is The Bet Diet Solution. I just wanted to um, share one of the things that I've learned by reading this book. When you go to eat that piece of food... You first stop and you ask yourself, is this worth the fat that's going to be put onto my thighs, on my abdomen? And then if you rationalize that it is worth it, then you take your time, open the package up or pour it in a bowl or whatever you do, and you count literally each bite. So if you're eating a bowl of ice cream, you already got past, you know, being okay with it going to your thighs and your gut and your arms. You count each bite. So, take that scoop of chocolate ice cream and you count it. One, two, three. And by the fourth or fifth bite, you should start to feel a little disgusted with yourself. Because that's how I felt. I've actually had a chance to uh, utilize this uh, technique. And it really is. It's something with the mind. So um, I was able to just throw it away and say, you know what? I'm better than this. So I'm going to continue to read this book. I'm found, like I said, the holidays are here. And just all the things I'm always doing with my kids and my husband. Um, I realized that I really need to start dedicating more time to Shonda, to me. And um, that's the only way I can be of any good to my family, my husband, my kids, or whatever. And that's what I'm encouraging all of you all um, on YouTube and the weight loss community to, is to just put aside some time for yourself, for yourself to get healthy, for you to just take time out and evaluate your life. Excuse me, Jordan. To evaluate your life and to put things in a proper perspective. If I'm not healthy, if I'm not going to be around long, how is it going to affect my children and my family? So, um, it's just you have to start looking at the bigger picture, and that's what this Bet Diet Solution book is doing for me. Um, as I continue to learn, I'll continue to share with you guys, but next time you go in the kitchen or you go and eat something you know you're not supposed to, ask yourself, is it really worth it? Ask yourself, is it worth your life? And then if you get past that, count each and every bite. And let me know how that works. Again, I told you guys a little bit earlier that I'm doing, I don't want to name the name of the program. I don't want to, let me just tell you all right now, I don't ever want to be that one who promotes product after product. I've had people come to me with this Vaisalis. I've had people come to me about Atkins. I've had people come to me about um, different supplements and shakes they want me to maybe promote. I'm not the one. If I don't do it and see results, I will not share it with you guys. So what I did, I didn't listen to any of the people that, that's come to me. I did my own research um, independently and found a company that 
sells these prepackaged meals, bars, puddings, shakes, whatever. And I'm going to try that on my own. If it works, I will come on here and promote it and, you know, tell you, tell you guys all about it. Because obviously what I'm doing on my own is not working. I need something else. So I'm going to keep on fast tuning things until I get it right. You know, the girl got a birthday coming up in January, and I want to, I just want to be a better person all over, spiritually, physically, mentally, and so um, I'm glad that I get to do it here on YouTube with you guys, with your support and with your love. So, I will see you all this weekend, try to get a video Friday, maybe Sunday, and um, I'm going to be at a park somewhere, I'm going to be walking with my kids, or maybe by myself, maybe I have to do it solo, maybe I can get my husband to walk with me and get on camera, who knows, but I'm going to get out there and I'm going to show you guys that no matter what kind of day you're having, you can get out there in uh, God's creations and walk and marvel at his wonderful works. And just be grateful and thankful. I also want to say during this Christmas season, um, a lot of people get stressed out over finances and different issues in their lives. And I read somewhere that as long as you are healthy, as long as your kids are healthy, as long as you have a roof over your head and some food to eat, it doesn't matter if you have a dollar in your bank account. Everything else is worth more than that. It's worth more than gold. So maybe if, you know, you find yourself just wondering, how am I going to buy that iPod for my child or that iPad for my husband? Or I can't get all the gifts I need to get for the people in my life. Stop. Give them love. Give them a hug and say, hey, I'm sorry I didn't buy you a gift, but I'll give you this gift for free. Love you. You know, don't, don't get stressed out over the holidays. I had to tell myself this. I have to tell myself this almost like every day. But um, it works. It really does. It works. And my sisters and brothers and my aunts and uncles and my mom and dad, we're getting a lot of hugs this year, <laughs> this Christmas. Lots of hugs for me. So anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.